Hey YouTube, so I'm gonna do a quick uh, tutorial slash troubleshooting video on pairing Bluetooth speakers to the Target Heyday turntable. Seems to be a big issue people are having. I see a lot of comments, um, not just on my page, but on the, the Target you know, listing for the turntable. I get a lot of questions about this on my, on my uh, channel here. Um, so right now I've currently got the speaker that's sitting right next to the tone arm paired to my laptop. It's playing music right now, right? So um, what I've noticed is if you try to pair this device and it's currently paired or previously paired with another device, it definitely has trouble finding it. So for instance, if you open the turntable, click the button as instructed, to try to pair with previously paired devices. So now it's searching for previously paired devices. It's not gonna find anything because this, this one's currently paired to my computer. If you tap it again, now it's searching for another speaker outside of the one that was previously paired with. There's nothing active right in my room that's gonna be searching for it right now. So I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna uh, be able to connect to anything. So if I turn this off, and then I turn it back on, it's most likely gonna pair to my computer and not the turntable. So yeah, you still see blink, it's still blinking, but it's paired back to my laptop again. So that's the problem that you're gonna run into is that I've noticed is you have to completely disconnect the speaker from all connected Bluetooth devices before it's gonna see the turntable. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I've disconnected from the computer and now I'm gonna do the fast search for it to find and look at that, there it goes. It is now connected to the turntable. Look how quick that was, painless. Um, I think the most commonly, and let's see, just to prove that it's connected to the record player. It's Bob Dylan. So it, it's really that simple. Um, I found that it's pretty consistent as long as the turntable is connected. And, and basically, as long as I don't connect the speaker to anything else at this point, every time I turn the turntable off and on, in fact, let's do it real quick. Let's turn it off. It's going to disconnect from the speaker. I don't even have to go into fast pairing mode. I just have to just hit the Bluetooth button. So now it's looking, now the speaker is looking, there it goes, it's disconnected. So now I'm gonna turn it back on, click my Bluetooth button and watch. There it goes. So it's pretty consistent. I've had really good results with it. I really, since kind of discovering that, haven't had any issues pairing as long as the speaker hasn't been paired to something else um, and disconnected from the turntable. It'll pretty much pair up right away. Um, so if this helps anybody, uh, I know this is a big topic with this turntable um, and people have even returned their turntable because they couldn't pair. Um, but I think a lot of it's just because it's 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 looking for another device instead of the turntable. And turntable's a uh, little needy, it looks like, and definitely needs like kind of sole ownership of that Bluetooth signal. So I uh, hope this helps anybody and I uh, appreciate you watching.